Hello everyone, my name is Sanjay Sharma, Physics Faculty at Akas Baijus. I am sure you all are waiting a lot for final test series for NEET 2023 and excited too. Let me tell you how can you extract the maximum benefit out of it. As far as physics score is concerned, do not read the question in one go. As and when you observe there is a full stop, give a pause, write down all the possible data and then proceed further. Once your reading part is done, either try to convert the entire data into a diagram or write it in form of symbols. You will be very close to the equation which is going to help you to get the answer. Starting with units and dimensions, be thorough with all the dimensional formulas. Don't neglect supplementary qualities. A question was asked last year. As well as in motion in one dimension and two dimension, get a complete idea on average velocity, average speed, and graphs. Especially, know about nature of the graph, how to find slope, how to find area, and also when to find slope and when to find area. And moving under gravity, Galileo's ratio is very important. And not reading the question properly, most of the students will do mistake in this question. Like they asked last year, what is the ratio of displacements in first, second, and third second? So read the question properly, whether they are asking in successive seconds or for one second, two second, three second, etc. And while doing the projectile motion, especially in oblique projectile motion, we all have practiced the relations where maximum height, range and time of flight, where theta is with horizontal, but previous year, the theta is given with vertical. So be cautious while reading the question. Underline the key points, what are given in the question, will make you do less mistakes. And coming to fiction part, while discussing the motion of the body along the rough surface, check whether the applied force is more than limiting friction or not. That is a key point which decides the motion of the body on rough surface. We move to work or energy. When you want to calculate work, practice it by calculating by using work energy theorem. Why? Because which can be applied not only for constant force but also for variable force and also for all types of forces. If you are choosing work as force into displacement, note that it is applicable only for constant force and not for variable forces. Please avoid this mistake in the exam. And also be thorough with moment of inertia in rotational motion. Check the moment of inertia is about which axis which is a crucial point and while calculating the problems in buoyancy force always believe that the buoyancy force is volume into density of liquid into z what is v here v is the volume of the solid that is inside the liquid which is very crucial so while preparing the formulas believe that most of the questions in physics our formula based questions. Try to know each and every quantity in the formula so that you will have a clear clarity on your concept. When you are clear at your concepts, that is your strength that increases your confidence. So, your confidence is the only strength for you to achieve a great success in NEET 2023 and also to do well in physics exam.